The Green Party is trying to stop the Ford government from developing parts of the Green Belt, introducing three bills to try and protect the land. Now, it's likely futile. The Ford government has a massive majority and it's not going to vote to support it. However, it's a good time to take a look at just how Doug Ford has changed his tone on the Green Belt in the last five years. We will open up the Green Belt, not, not all of it. We're going to open a big chunk of it up. That was Doug Ford before he was elected in 2018. When the Liberals released that video, he quickly changed his stance. We won't touch the Green Belt. But after he won his second majority, Ford reversed his course again, announcing late last year he was opening up more than 7,000 acres of the Green Belt for development due to the housing crisis. Lately, his tone has changed significantly on how he describes the Green Belt. That's just a field with a bunch of weeds. You got a bunch of staffers in a room with a bunch of crayons and highlighters and randomly just went on a map. Just a big scam. Calling the Green Belt a scam is the biggest declaration the Premier has made to date on the issue. But he's trying to delegitimize the whole concept of the Green Belt, which is just wrong. It's finite and it's fragile. Victor Doyle was the original architect of the Green Belt some 20 years ago and helped choose what land should be protected. He disputes assertions like this. They literally put a dartboard and they just start throwing darts wherever is convenient with them. There was no study, no rhyme, no reason. It was designed and created by being informed by the best science and data available. So it was a really a team effort involving people with thousands of years of collective experience. Now it's a scam. I mean, honestly, now he's claiming that this government has the strongest environmental rec record in what history? I mean, it's outrageous. And I think it's also designed to distract from the question of who's making a buck off this government's decisions. Both the Auditor General and the Integrity Commissioner are investigating allegations swirling around the Ford government's handling of the Green Belt, including whether developers were tipped off. Ford remains unapologetic. When asked last week if he will open up the Green Belt even further, he didn't say no. Again, we're going to continue building building homes, but where we aren't going to where we aren't going to build, we aren't going to build on ponds, wetlands and marshes. The Premier has a history of not backing down from a fight, so be prepared for more of this. So it's clear that the only Greenbelt scam is the government scheme to pave over the farmland that feeds us. I want to thank the, the member from Build Nothing Riding because that's what he believes in, building absolutely nothing. Will this issue hurt Doug Ford? Well, it partly depends on the findings of the Auditor General and the Integrity Commissioner, but don't forget, the next election is three years away. Doug Ford and his government are likely counting on voters having forgotten all about this by then.